Hey guys, my name is Emil and you are watching TechnoRide. What's going on guys, welcome to TechnoRide by Technology, is it done right? So in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to fix errors, okay? So basically there are a bunch of error messages has been popping up for people and today I'm going to teach you on how to fix them, okay? So basically the three errors are um, 0x807000D, okay? And then 0x800F081F and then the next one is 0x807371, okay? So these three errors has been caused by the installation of an update, okay? which uh, has been given by Microsoft themselves and the update is KB4549951. If you have this update installed, this might be the culprit that is causing those errors, okay? So I'm going to teach you a very simple way to uh, get rid of this update, okay? So bear with me guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings. There's a very easy way to go to settings. Just go to your start button here right click on it don't left click okay and then you can see settings here go there and you can see last year it says update and security click on that and you can see here view update history click on that okay and then you can see here it says kb4549951 this is the update which has been causing those issues and it's been successfully installed on my system okay so now we are going to uninstall this update because this has been causing a lot of issues okay um yeah okay so you're going to click on uninstall updates right here at the top okay and then you can see here this the update which has been causing the issues make sure you double check the code is correct okay and then you can see here uninstall click on uninstall and click on yes okay taking off this update will not affect your pc a lot okay you will just uh revert back to the previous um security update that you had okay so basically this helps you to solve the issues that you have been ha having since i think the um update that has been rolled out by microsoft has been uh, corrupted or something i'm really not sure about that so yeah this is one way to solve it okay so it's taking a while uh, let it take a while okay i just want our computers to be fixed okay guys and we are back so you can see it prompts you to restart your computer so basically you can just restart it and the update will be off and it should fix all the errors you have been having okay so yeah i think that's about it i'm not going to restart my computer because um, i'm recording right now and if i restart my com my recording will stop and i have a lot of issues okay so i think that's about it just click on restart and you'll be done so if you have any other questions or any other problems please put them down in the comments below and yeah, I think that's about it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.